one, yes two, coming again at you with another video. Please hit that like button. Please share, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, everybody. And uh, let's just get into this. This is going to be a serious video, man. Let your boy cook. I'm going to cook on this video. Now, most black women hate themselves. Yes, I said it. If you don't like the way you look, clean face, fresh out the shower, or, you know, first thing you wake up in the morning, you put some cold water on your face. If you do not like the way you look, if you do not consider yourself beautiful, just the way you are, you hate yourself. If you have to put on a ton of makeup, fake eyelashes, have to get a BBL, get your boobs done, you hate yourself. And again, let me just get this. I know you, you've seen the title, but some people are just slow. Not all black women hate themselves, but most black women hate themselves. And yes, I know there are Spanish. There are white women who do this too, but I'm talking about black women. And the reason why I'm talking about black women is because black women, a great handful of black women feel like they own black men. Why do I say this? Because so many black men do not like seeing black men date other white women. And if you're a black woman watching this, this may not be you. You may not care. But a lot of women deep down say, oh, I love black men. I only date black men. But they come with a huge list of things that they expect out of this black man. Now, nine times out of 10, the stuff that they expect out of a black man, he came from a single parent home. And, a, and the black woman asking for these demands came from a single parent home as well. We both dealt with trauma. We both we both dealt with tons of trauma. But I can say a black woman's trauma is probably slightly more than a black man's trauma coming up out of a single parent household. I just seen a clip the other day. I'm pretty sure some of you seen it where the black girl was talking about, oh, bear face is not cool. You can't be showing up to events with no makeup. It's just not OK. Like what? That is the mentality of some of these black women. They think it is inappropriate to show up to a special event or a fancy dinner without makeup on, without your long eyelashes. I mean, some of these black girls, they don't even show up to the gym without their long eyelashes. You see them doing their cardio. They got on those long eyelashes look like they're about to fly away. Who is a black woman to tell? Let me let me rephrase this. Who is a black woman that has to always have a new wig, new eyelashes, long nails to tell somebody about themselves. You can't tell nobody about themselves when you hate yourself. You do not love yourself at all. And you may say, why are you making this video? Why do you keep making these type of videos? Because this is for the black men in my comment section that swear by black love. How can you love a woman that doesn't love herself? How can you expect a woman that doesn't love herself to love you properly? See, some of you dudes want to be in a relationship and just be. That's it. The same way you were when you were by yourself is the same way you are in a relationship. You're just doing you. You're just living life. That's not what relationships are about. And that's why a lot of people should not get married or even be in long-term relationships. Because a lot of people just be in relationships and they don't believe that together as a couple, you're supposed to elevate each other. You're supposed to put your money together. You're supposed to grow together. You're supposed to make decisions together, not selfishly by yourself. Again, a lot of men want to be in relationships and just be. They want to do them, do what they want to do. And then when they're ready to sleep with their woman, that's that. Or when they're ready to go out with her, then that's that. But they don't want to include her in their day-to-day -day activities. They don't want to see her life get better. They don't want to see their life get better. If you a dude from the hood... Or you do a black dude from the hood, or you a black dude that grew up in a single parent household, and you keep dating a black woman that's from the hood, or a black woman that's from a single parent household as well. Wonder why she's so combative. Wonder why she's always arguing with you. See, some of you dudes be with these black women, y'all don't even care that they always wearing long eyelashes. Y'all don't even care that they always paying to get their nails done. Y'all don't care how many different weaves or how many different wigs they have. Why not? Why don't you care? Dudes like you have no room to talk. Black men like you that swear by black women that don't love themselves naturally have no room to talk. I mean, just look at Africa. Look at African women. They don't wear weaves or wigs on their hair. Their hair may be short. But that's, that's how they were born. And see, you know what the problem is? A lot of black women mothers told them they were ugly. Told them go do something with your hair or put all put. A lot of black mothers ruined their daughter's hair. 
or messed up their daughter's hair when they were young by putting, sorry about that, guys, by putting perms into it, by putting all these chemicals, all these, these dyes and straightening it too much and combing them with not a wide teeth comb and, you know what I'm saying, just damaging their hair. So I get it. But the thing is, weaves, braids, box braids, these are all supposed to be protective styles. You, how can you as a black woman keep putting all these different weaves in your hair and not letting your hair grow? Shout out to the shout out to the black women that grow that wear their hair naturally. Shout out to the black women that wear weaves and show their 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 uh take out take take out the weaves and then show their six month uh takedown or the two month braid takedown. Show how much retention they got, how much hair retention. And then they go ahead and uh straighten their hair and then they wear it naturally. Shout out to those women. That is the whole purpose. The whole purpose of a woman to wear braids and wear a weave and wig and stuff is to protect her natural hair while it's growing so it can eventually grow and become long and natural. Now you don't have to wear weaves no more. You can wear your hair naturally. That's the whole point of a protective style. That's the whole point of a weave. That's the whole point of a wig. The four founding fathers were the originators of wigs. Europeans. A freaking rabbit keep trying to chew on my wire. Europeans, they were wearing wigs. The men, they were wearing wigs due to hair loss or to show status, just to, to show high status amongst lower people. Women, a lot of black women nowadays are wearing wigs and weaves for the wrong reason. I told you what it's for. See, a lot of these black women, they are jealous of uh of black men who who date white women. But y'all trying to look like Europeans. Y'all trying to look like the original white women with the long fake eyelashes and the in the in the the long weaves and the wigs. Kendra G, I've been watching these dudes who react to Kendra G uh show. Kendra G got almost a different wig on every other day. The other day her wig was sliding back. It looks stupid. The fact they sell wigs with baby hairs on them. They are trying to keep you black women comfortable so you don't ever want to show your natural hair, ever want to grow your natural hair and have it be healthy. You are helping these China men. You are helping these racist people push the narrative by continuing to wear weaves and wigs and not grow your natural hair. You hate yourself. And that's why I don't, I call cap on women that say, oh, I do this for me. Oh, I put the eyelashes in, in the wigs and the weaves and I do this for me. I'm not going to say I call it cap. I take that back. It's not cap because a lot of women, it's true they do it for themselves, but that just proves my point. Again, women who say I do this for me, the makeup, the nails, the weave, the wigs, whatever, the BBLs, I do this all for me because you hate yourself. It's common sense. Why are you men not calling these women out? Why are you not calling these black women out that do this stuff? I just seen a video of uh, Sexy Red posted a video on her Instagram, probably taken down. I don't know. I don't have Instagram no more, but I saw it. Of her showing a video, a video of her getting piped down and just disgusting. Almost threw up in my mouth. And then this dude hitting her, talking about some, oh, you so sexy, da 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 And she got a bonnet on. She can't even ha make love without a bonnet on. And then she talking about in her song, my pussy pink booty hole brown. No, your pussy is not pink. Your, your pussy is brown just like your butthole disgusting and it looked dry and you, you you you're built like a boy you're built like a boy in high school that plays basketball just straight up just straight up disgusting and nasty and tasteless but a lot of you black women look up to her so you black women that look up to sexy red people like her you're just as low and just as disgusting as her she hates herself too why do you men continue to date women that hate themselves look for the signs fellas and yes, there are Spanish women. There are white women that hate themselves too. But I'm talking about the, the black women right now because I get so many black men in my comment section talking about I'm wrong and talking about black love this and black love that. That shit is dead. In 2023, moving on, black love is dead. It is. So many people, so many... So many black people complain about racism and about this and about that, and they're, and they're racist. A lot of black people are, are just for blacks. Listen, understand, you're never going to get ahead. Never. 
Look up Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones is a, is a fraternity out of uh, Yale, New Haven. Yale, Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. George Bush came from that fraternity. Since like the, the 60s, 70s, maybe even back then. An upperclassman every year was asked to join the Skull and Bones. These people have an obsession with death. Inside that fraternity is a lot of ghouly objects. Skeletons and, and ghouly furniture, rather. Ghouly furniture and a lot of uh, skulls and bones inside their fraternity. And they, and they worship death. And they also, uh, like I said in my previous video, they also have a huge advantage. They have had for years about what laws are going to be passed. There's been politicians, judges put in place, police officers all throughout the country. And again, George Bush came for this fraternity. You can look it up. I'm not just saying anything. If you don't believe me, go Google it for yourself. So you will never get ahead. There's no, there's no getting ahead of the white man. There's no getting ahead of anybody at all. People want to talk about slavery. People want to talk about racism, systemic racism. As a black man, you should that should never come out your mouth because we can date white women. There, remember Emmett Till? There was a time where you got killed for even looking at a white woman's eyes. You come and look in her eyes. How do you get ahead? You get ahead with dating white women. That's how you get ahead as a black man. Stop dating these black women who hate themselves. Not all black women hate themselves, but stop dealing with the ones who do. The ones who can't wear their hair natural. The ones that hate the way they look first thing up in the morning. Stop dating those type of women. The black women that hate seeing black men with other white women. Listen, if you're a confident black woman and you loving and confident in yourself, you wouldn't care what a black man does. I'm tired of these black women that think they own all black men. Those, go check out my old video if you haven't already where I said the white woman is made for the black man. Look how much hate I got in that section from black women. Look how much hate. And this shit is weird. You hear me? I'm going to say it again. This shit is weird because the way they were coming at me, they were coming at me as if they own all black men. Oh, how dare you put out this message? I'm a grown man. I can say whatever I want. If you don't like it, you don't have to. Keep it moving. But for you to seriously bash me and say, oh, this and that, and about white women, this and that, black, no black man should be, you don't own all black men. Black men are going to do what they want to do. See, a lot of these black women, they want to date black men, but they want to date black men that are, that are not masculine, that are bisexual. A lot of black women, a lot of black women are willing to be with black men as long as the bills are paid. They don't care about them being bisexual. That used to be a thing. When I was coming up, black no black woman would ever mess with a, a man who they knew mess with other men. Ever. But now these women don't care. Dudes having their na nails painted and they trying to they trying to defend it. Oh, he, he bites his nails. He's trying to stop himself from biting his nails. Anything with a man being strong is toxic masculinity. Anything with a man standing up for himself. Oh, I don't like, I don't know how you men know your worth. I don't like that. That's black women for you. White women aren't saying that. Let me say it again. A black woman said, a few black women on social media said they do not like when black men know their worth or when men in general know their worth. Mainly black men because that's who they choose to date. Why is that? Why do they hate a black man that knows his worth? Because you can't get over on them. That's why. A lot of the times I'll be feeling like these black these black women are trying to get um are trying to make up for their mothers. Their mothers that got got done wrong by black men. Their single parent mothers. That's really what I feel like they be trying to do. They really be trying to get with black men just to emasculate them. They don't really want to be with a strong black man. Because if they did, they wouldn't say they don't like being with men who know who know their worth. They want to be in a relationship with a man that's a yes, a yes, no, a yes, baby, no baby. That gives, gives him, gives up the money, pays for whatever she wants him to pay for and doesn't argue with her. That's, that doesn't tell her about herself. That won't put her in her place. That won't tell her to stop wearing makeup. That won't tell her to grow her naturally. Stop wearing the weaves. Stop eating fast food. Stop going to the grocery store and putting that garbage in your cart. They, they don't want that type of man. Get into the gym. You got to get into the gym, lose a couple pounds. Black women don't want that type of man. Most black women, they don't. Going on 15 minutes, man. Let's end this video. We're going to wrap it up. But again, this video is for the, the younger, the black men in my comment section and the up and coming younger, younger black men for let them know what type of black me, women you dealing with. These black women that are fans of Sexy Red and Sukiana and love social media and, and Ice Spice and all these, these different weaves with the baby hair. Putting a, putting a wig on with baby hair attached is wild to me. 
So yeah, women like that, they got to get their nails done every week. I see, I saw a young girl crying on TikTok because she wanted to get her hair. She, oh, I can't get my hair done every other week. I want a new style. She'll never grow her hair naturally. I seen a chick comment on YouTube that they talk about some. Oh, I, I just can't help but to, to always want a new style. Always want a new style. Stop dealing with those. That's a weak woman. A weak woman that can't put in a weave and leave it in for two, three, four months and then check her growth of her natural hair. Oh, my hair's long enough. Now I don't got to wear those no more. If, if her goal is not to get to wear her natural hair naturally, leave her alone. She has, she has no control, no self-control. She has no confidence. She doesn't love herself. This is for you young black brothers wondering why. Wondering why I keep promoting dating white women. This is for, for you fellas. This is exactly why. Because white women, they may put on a little mascara, a little makeup. And it's not all. Some of them go crazy with the makeup. But I'm talking majority. Majority of the, the average white woman that's in middle school, high school, they are naturally pretty. They don't need none of that stuff. And they don't wear that stuff. I didn't tell not one lie in this video. So again, ask yourself. Does the black woman you're interested in or interested in you, does she hate herself? Is she mainly natural? Is she okay with wearing her hair naturally and, and, her, and her, eye, her freaking eyelashes naturally? Is she? If not, she hates herself. Peace and love.